process dates back to 1848, which is Civil War era, so you have to think uh, back to Abraham Lincoln, um, Sitting Bull, Custer. Uh, these were the first images that were uh, taken of these historic people were wet plate collodion images. Um, I follow in the path of Orlando Scott Goff here in Bismarck, a wet plate photographer that worked for General Custer and had a um, studio over at Fort Abraham Lincoln and he had a studio here on Main Street in Bismarck. The wet plate collodion process goes back to 1848. Frederick Scott Archer invented this process. What we do is we take a bottle of collodion um, which contains bromide uh, that is poured onto the plate in the four corner technique and um, that plate is then immersed into silver nitrate. It's called the wet plate uh, process because the plate must remain wet throughout the entire um, capturing of the image. Um, the plate then goes into the silver for three minutes where uh, the silver uh, attracts uh, to the bromide on the plate and makes a photosensitive plate out of glass. That glass plate after three minutes is then taken and loaded into a large format camera. Um, these exposures are long exposures. Um, I'm experiencing about 10 to 12 seconds of exposure time in my studio. At that point, uh, we make the exposure, the plate goes and it gets, becomes uh, developed, it's rinsed, then we put it in the fixer, which essentially strips everything off the plate, leaving nothing more than silver. Uh, the plate is uh, then dried and to preserve the silver image over um, hundreds and hundreds of years, we pour a shellac or a varnish over those silver uh, molecules. My name is Shane Balkowicz. The studio that I founded back in 2012 is Nostalgic Glass Wet Plate Studio, and I'm located here in Bismarck, North Dakota. Thank you.